Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Quiet. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 983, minimum cost for tickets. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here we are given two inputs. One is days and another one is cost, right? So we are given the days input where we will buy tickets on these days, right? So the days can range from 1 to 365 days, right? So the days input are given for a, a one year plan. Then we have three costs. So these costs are the traveling pass cost, right? So for example, the cost one is for the one day pass where we can travel one day and the cost two for traveling seven days, right? and cost 3 for 30 days pass, right? And we need to find the minimum number of cost I need to spend on these passes to travel these days, right? So we need to minimize our expense of buying the tickets. We have to minimize this, minimize the cost that I'm going to spend, right? And we are going to solve this problem using dynamic programming approach. So initially, I'm going to create an input list of array for n plus 1 values of 0, right? So where I'm going to create a list of zeros of n plus 1. So it, it will be 366 zeros, right? So I'm going to write a for loop for 365 days, right? And I'm going to update each and every value in the dp array. Then I will create a, another set of days of the unique days that is given in the input array, right? Since here in this particular example, all my input values are unique. So I'm not showing that particular set. Rather, I will just show you with the input array itself. But when we write the code, I will show you guys the unique set, right? So first, I will pick the first day. I will write a loop for 1 to 365 days, right? So first I will pick day 1. Now I will check whether 1 is in my input array, whether I plan to travel on that particular day. Yes, 1 is there, right? Now I need to check whether it will be efficient for me to buy 1 day pass or a 7 day pass or a 30 day pass, right? On day 1. For that, I will be having three set of conditions, right? First, I will pick the previous values cost by taking the i minus one index in my DP, right? I will add cost one. That is the one day pass cost, right? Now I need to check whether I need to buy a day seven pass on, on the day one. So for that first, I will check whether I am able to purchase day 7 pass, right? So first I will take max between 0 and i minus 7. So this will give me whether we have crossed 7 days or not, right? If it is negative, we haven't reached 7 days yet in our annual days count, right? So in that case, I will pick zeroth index value in my DP, right? And I will add cost two to it. That is the day seven cost. So then I will similarly take whether I have crossed 30 days or not. I will check if I haven't crossed 30 days, I will just pick the index zeroth value in my DP array, right? And I will add cost 3 to it. So now we will calculate. So since in the 0th index, i minus 1 is 0, right? So we are in the day 1, i minus 1 will be 0. So in the 0th index, it is 0 plus the cost 1, that is 2. We are going to get 2 here for in this place, right? Then this is going to be negative, right? i minus 7, that is 1 minus 7. I'm going to get minus 6, so it's going to be invalid. So I'm going to pick the 0th index of my 
dynamic programming array that is 0 plus the cos 2 7 I'm going to get 7 here then I'm going to get 0 here again right it's going to be invalid so I will pick 0 and I will add cos 3 that is 15 I will get 15 and I will take the minimum cost between these three that is 2 here so I will update 2 in my first index that is day 1 in my dynamic programming array right then I'm going to pick 2 from my number of days we are writing the loop for 1 to 365 days so we will pick 2 now so I will check whether 2 is in my input array no it is not there right so when it is not present when that particular day is not present in my input array I will just update the previous value that is 2 here so why I'm updating the previous value it's guaranteed that I have computed correctly till the previous value right that is the reason we are updating straight away the previous value then I will be getting 3 and 3 is also not present in my input array days we are we don't have 3 right so I will just update the previous value 2 again now I will pick 4 4 is present in my days right 4 is there in my days input we have 4 here right so now I'm going to check whether I need to buy day 1 or day 7 or day 30 pass right so for that I'm going to pick the previous value that is i minus 1 value that is 2 here from the dynamic programming array itself from the dp array then I will add cost 1 that is 4 I'm going to get 4 here right? cost 1 is 2 2 plus 2 I'm going to get 4 now I need to check whether I would be able to buy the 7 day pass we haven't crossed 7 days yet right so we can't so it will be 0 again so I will pick the 0th index value from my dp array so which is nothing but 0 again I will add cost 2 that is 7 so I'm going to get 7 here right then I'm going to check whether I would be able to buy 30 day pass again it is going to be invalid I can't buy a 30 day pass so it is going to be 0 so I will add cost 3 then that is 15 I will get 15 now right then I will take minimum between these three that is 4 so I will update 4 in the day 4 index in my dp so here it will be 4 now so if I keep on doing this at the end of my dp array at this 365 index right so I will be getting my minimum cost so in this case it will be 11 right I will end up 11 at the end of my dp array so I will return the index 365 at the end since I can't show you till 365 index I'm just limiting it here itself so the time complexity will be order of 365 since we are limiting the for loop till 365 this can be considered as order of one right it can be constant and also we will be creating a set of unique days separately it is definitely going to be less than 365 days right or it will be equal so we can just say time complexity is order of 365 and space complexity is also order of 365 so since we are creating 365 length of zero list where we are limiting to a fixed number here as well so it can also be considered as constant space so now we will see the code so before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so initially we are going to create the zero list so here we are just creating n plus 1, 365 plus 1, 366 days. I mean the length of the zero list. Then we are going to create a separate travel day set where I will be having unique set of my days input. Right. Then I'm going to write a for loop for a range of 365 days. So first I will check if that particular day is not present in my travel day set that is it is not present in my input list right 
if it is not present i will just update the previous value from my dp array right then if it is present in this case i will update with the three conditions i will take minimum between the previous value and here i will add cost one from the input then i will check whether i would be able to get a day seven pass for that i will take the maximum value between zero and the current index i minus seven so first i'm checking whether i would be able to buy a seven day pass if it is negative i'll just get zero if it is not i will get that particular value right we'll take that particular index value from my dp array and i will add cost two to it that is the day seven pass cost right then i will take maximum between zero then i will subtract current index with 30. so here i'm going to check whether i would be able to buy a 30 day pass then i will take that particular index value from my db array and i will add cost 3 to it right then finally i will return 365 index value right where i will be having the minimum cost at the end i think it's fine let's run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient Thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys